everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be re-diving into a brand that I actually have already tried a couple years ago, but I always see so many comments being like, try Hebeos prom dresses, and I'm like, I already did. But I feel like people aren't going back and watching it, so I was like, okay. We'll do it again. So from what I remember when I first reviewed this brand, the dresses were really, really great. So I don't know how they're going to be now. I'm thinking they'll probably be really great again, but I guess we'll figure that out. These dresses are also a little bit more pricey than some of the prom dresses I normally try. I usually try like under $100 prom dresses. These ones are in the like 150 to 270 like range. So they're a little bit more pricey, but when you think about prom dresses, dresses from like boutique shops, those can be upwards of like $800. So they're still affordable in comparison. So we'll see if they're worth the money. Okay, but before we dive into these dresses, let's flip to the donation portion. Okay, normally during the charity portion, I choose from this big jar of charities you guys have submitted, but I'm actually going to specifically donate to one charity. It's not gonna be like me choosing one, just because I've seen so many of your guys' comments, and I also feel like this charity is really important to donate to always, but especially right now. And that charity is the IRSSS. If you guys have not heard about what's going on and what has happened in Canadian history with residential schools, I highly suggest suggest reading up on it and educating yourself. It is absolutely horrible. So I know that the IRSSS is on one of these papers in here, but I don't want to wait until I pull it out. I just want to do the donation right now. I'm on their website right now and it says the IRSSS provides essential services to residential school survivors, their families, and to those dealing with intergenerational traumas so so important so that is going to be the donation for today's video okay so i have this giant rubber made of dresses here as you guys know coming up pretty quick here we're going to be like donating all of the dresses i've been stockpiling them down below so these are going to go in with that so it's really just for the video to show you guys again when i buy these dresses i obviously don't need prom dresses i'm graduated i don't need these i just get them to review them for you guys so then after i'm done with them they get donated or at least they're going to be i'm doing a big donation video you'll see all the dresses soon but okay I think without further ado let us dive in to these dresses and see how they are how they look compared to the pictures da, 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 da. it's actually a heat wave right now so if I seem a little out of it it's like boiling hot in here so let's begin okay first dress that we have here is a a-line princess bat bateau tool applique floor length sleeveless dress and this was $277 and one thing that I love about Hebeos dresses is you can order it in so many different colors. Here are the color options up on the screen. I went ahead and got just like the product picture color but you could get whatever you want and I remember in my last video I did get some custom colors and they turned out really nice so let's see what this one looks like I mean I was enticed by this one for obvious reasons the skirt with the tulle and the little flowers on the bottom are so beautiful they ship inside out so let me just flip this the right way Ooh. okay it's a little bit wrinkly it has been like in a ball so it would probably be a good idea to steam this before wearing it and that's the thing I'm saying prom dress but these could be bridesmaid dress these could be wedding dresses they could just be a formal dress they could just be a dress for wearing around the house it doesn't really matter but yeah here is this dress let me look it's so big. Okay, so at the top right now, the fabric is a little bit wrinkly. There's a built-in bra and a zipper on the back and not adjustable straps. And then a big fluffy tulle skirt with these beautiful flowers on the bottom. I think it will actually look quite a bit like the picture. I love this color. And it doesn't smell bad, which is nice. I don't know. I feel like I'm trying to judge the quality of this. In comparison to like a Tuota Matoshi dress, it's definitely not as high quality. But in comparison to just like a regular dress I would buy from the mall, it feels better than that. Okay, but let's throw it on because right now it just looks like a giant cotton candy pink dress. Let's put it on and see how it looks. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is is such a pretty dress. This is 
so nice. Also, you may notice I have a band-aid on my arm. I got my second COVID vaccine a couple days ago and I'm like scared to take this band-aid off because it's so on there. So just ignore this. Just look at this dress instead. Okay, first let's talk about fit. This fits amazing. Like honestly, this would need zero alterations. The waist is perfect. The straps are perfect. And I'm actually wearing heels under here and the length goes perfectly to the floor. Like no complaints on the fit of this dress. This light pink satiny inspired fabric on the top is so nice. And actually since I put it on, it doesn't look as wrinkly. I would still steam it, but I just think this is such a fairy tale dress. I love this too. Tool. This tool definitely makes the dress special with all of these beautiful little flowers down here. I really think it elevates it and makes it a lot more fun. I think we need to spin. What does it look like when we spin? I just love spinning in these dresses. Yeah, this is beautiful. I definitely think it lives up to the picture. I definitely think it's worth the price. I think it's very, very beautiful. Honestly, I want it in every single color, but I won't get it in every single color. Don't worry, I just am saying. I think also for a graduation or a prom, this would be so pretty. I think it would picture really well and I think it's very comfortable and it's not too poofy that you wouldn't be able to drag like dance. I think this is a great prom dress. It's beautiful. I love it. It's great. It's perfect. So in these prom dress videos, I normally try to get a bunch of different styles and colors. Like I don't try to just get my personal style, I try to get things that I think everybody would like. So this is a trumpet mermaid sleeveless floor length jewel tool beading dresses. Dresses. As you can see, it's a high neckline, which I do personally love. And it's got no sleeves and it's a mermaid style. It like puffs out at the bottom. Whereas the other one was A-line. So very different style of dresses. This was $220. Apparently that was from $786, so 72% off. I don't know if that's 100% true because I'm pretty sure that everything's always on a big sale. So I don't know if that's just to entice you, but I mean, whatever. But yeah, I thought this dress looked really pretty. I'm excited to see what it looks like in person. I understand why you guys are so curious about this brand because I swear they have every dress under the sun. Ooh, oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so pretty. The tool feels really soft. I feel like I now fully understand the difference between good quality and not good quality tool. I don't know how to say it, but I know the difference. And this is very good quality tool. It definitely feels nice and soft and flowy. And then we have the sequin bodice and neckline. Oh yeah, and a built-in bra here. Also, one thing too on Hebios, this isn't sponsored by the way, I would say if it was. You can order standard sizing, like two, four, six, eight, so on, so on, so on. Or you can actually order custom sizing. It takes a little bit longer to make, but you can like perfectly size yourself and order that. So that's kind of nice if you wanted it to be like perfect fitting. I just got standard sizing in these because I'm gonna be donating them. So there's no need for them to fit me and like me perfectly. But for a size reference, I did get these all in a size two. Here are these sequins. They feel well put on here. Some of them I can see a bit of the glue where it got stuck on. So hopefully none of them fly off when I'm trying it on. And then the big tulle skirt, let's throw it on. Okay, here is this navy dress on. I'll do a little spin for you. <laughs> This bottom bit is longer than I thought. There's actually like a train. Hold on. I will show you. Ready? Train. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oops. <laughs> Whoops. I forgot to do up the top. There. Now you can see the back. Okay, this is another really comfortable dress actually. Like I don't think I'd have to be concerned about it. It's a nice fabric that is very breathable. Not in the sense of like a light fabric, but it's not like sucking me in to the point where I can't breathe because seriously, some prom dresses definitely do that. And this isn't one. It's breathable. It's danceable. Yeah, this is cute. I do think the picture on the Hebios website 
did make it look a little bit more luxury and expensive, but I still think it's a really, really pretty dress. And I do think it looks very inspired by the picture. I love these sequins and none of them have fallen off. I think they add a lot of like fun to this. Like if a light was flashing down on you on the dance floor, yeah, that would be good. That would be a good moment. I think if I could say one critique, I wish the bottom just poofed out a little bit more like it did in the product picture, but you could get a little slip that would do that if you really wanted to, but I don't think it's bad without. I also really like the train. Yeah, this is a really nice dress. I'm actually so impressed with these dresses. I truly wish I would have found this website when I had my grad, but I mean, I also loved my grad dress. I have a video on my grad dress. Um, but yeah, these are just really, really nice. I think a lot of people are curious about this website because they're wondering if the quality is any good. And definitely the quality is good. Nobody would tell a difference between this and like a boutique prom dress. Cause like, I don't know what the difference is. This one looks very nice too. I also feel like this one's really easy to walk in, which is kind of nice. Like I don't feel myself tripping over it. And it's again, fitted amazingly. That's it. Okay, next dress we have here is a red ball gown, sleeveless, strapless, sweep brush, train ruffle, satin dress. This was $189 and it was offered in, again, so many different colors. This is really pretty. I will say I don't like sleeveless dresses on me, like these ones that just cut because I have like nothing really to hold the dress up and it's always a problem, especially a heavy dress like this. But based on this picture, it looks like it might have pockets. So that's enticing. So let's look. I will say this doesn't look like a ton of fabric to really puff it out like it is in the picture. You might need like an underskirt, which I actually have one, but I feel like I shouldn't wear it with this because not everybody's gonna have one. Ooh, honestly, this never gets old. I feel so lucky to have reviewing prom dresses as a thing on my channel because I mean, it's just so fun. Who doesn't like trying on evening gowns? It's fun. Okay, but here is this red one. Again, it's very wrinkly and it actually makes the fabric look less good quality, but it would just be a good idea to get it steamed for your special day because it's a little bit wrinkly. But I will say this fabric does look kind of luxurious. I don't know if it's because it's like a royal red and royal colors always look more luxurious to me, but it looks nice. It makes the fabric look expensive. Here in the front, there's a built-in bra and then obviously these two pointy pieces like in the picture. And then we just have a really full skirt. I'm interested to see how the skirt will fall because in the picture it's quite poofy actually is there pockets here hold on <gasps> there is pockets oh my gosh that is so amazing a dress with pockets we love you only understand the love for pockets when you've worn a dress that doesn't have pockets because that's just stressful but okay try it on okay this is probably the first dress that i have a little bit of a sizing error are we surprised the strapless one isn't fitting quite right so i have these little clips that i hope actually do something <laughs> great yeah they're working i knew this was gonna be a problem got these clips to really show off the dresses but they're not strong enough <laughs> this isn't gonna work the dress is just gonna be not fitting right. That's okay. Okay, so as you can see, it's a little bit baggy up top. So if I could, and if I got this dress for my grad, I would just get it fitted a little bit better. I will say though, this is a very red carpet moment. I actually really like this one. I just don't like this all being open on me, but I do like these little points. I feel like it adds a certain little touch to it, which makes me like it a little bit more. And also I didn't realize there's this like super long slit in here. Wow, look at that. Let me find the pockets. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love that. Like, are you kidding me? That is a pretty dress and it actually looks full enough. I was a little bit concerned that it would fall flat, but I feel like in pictures, you could even fake the puff a little bit by putting your hands in the pockets and fluffing it up. Like this. I think I probably could have done a zero in this dress and then we would have been good. But yeah, 
Just imagine it fits. And then here is the back. As I was saying earlier, it needs a little bit of a steam. You can see all the wrinkles in here. But like this is luxurious. I actually really, really like this dress. I wasn't expecting to personally really enjoy this one, but I actually do. And the pockets, I mean, they get a 10 out of 10. I feel like this looks quite a bit like the picture. The only critique for this is that I got the wrong size. So that's not really this dress's problem. That's just... That's a me problem. But yeah, I feel like this is very pretty. Ooh, I'm like kind of impressed with the dresses I chose. They're all so different. This is a trumpet mermaid straps v-neck sleeveless applique sweep brush train silk like satin dress. And this was $201. This picture looks very luxurious. Like, I feel like this satin would feel so soft. So I'm interested to see. Because I get the feeling that the pictures might not be the actual pictures. They might be remaking the pictures. I don't know, that's just a hunch I have. I don't know if that's true, I can't really say. Ooh, already it's feeling very soft. Oh, it feels so soft. This is a very pretty soft dress. Again, I will say it in all the dresses, I think. It's wrinkly. We need to steam these for sure. So just try to look past the wrinkles because I'm like 100% sure these wrinkles would come out and it would make the dress look a lot better. Here is the top half of that dress with all the lace detailing. I'm looking at the picture and it looks pretty darn similar. The color of this satin and also this lace on here. I do wish it was adjustable straps just for me personally. I feel like that would be nice, but it's not a huge deal. And then long skirt with a train. This looks pretty good. Honestly, it's hard to say if these things will look like the picture until we have them on. So let's throw it on and we will see. Shall we? Am I explaining this good enough? Is this a helpful video? I don't know. Let me know. Oh my. Oops. <laughs> Get out of here. Ah, everything's falling apart. Okay, honestly, I kind of feel like I'm wearing a luxurious pajama set. I feel like I've seen this just like cropped here as pajamas. So this is just that, but adding a train. I mean, I'm not hating on it. I am though hating on the fact that I'm wearing this bra. I am fully ruining the look. And I'm sorry for that. This fabric is very, very soft. As it looks in the picture, it feels like what I imagined it would. It's so silky smooth and soft, and it has this pretty train here and all the little lace detailing. I am a little bit afraid of this top piece because it just keeps like slipping off and I'm like, whoa, stay up. But that's sort of like, you know, it's a scandalous dress. I think too, if I had the correct bra on, this would be very pretty, big open back moment. It's a really pretty dress. I don't think it's my personal style. And this one desperately needs a steam more than the other ones even. I love the train. I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. I'm like all over the place. Just look at this. Look at that train. I have to say, I think this dress is the least comfortable out of all the dresses we have tried, just because it's sort of falling off and the fabric is just so slippery. And of course it's an open back, so there's more going on. I would definitely be a little bit more concerned dancing in this one that I would lose some of the dress. But I mean, that's the price you pay to have a beautiful dress like this. I think this one out of the package would maybe be the most disappointing just because this fabric shows the wrinkles so much. But don't be disheartened, okay? Just rent a steamer. I think this will be okay under a steamer. But yeah, I think this is pretty, not my personal style, but I do like it. Do you like it? Let me know. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have this dress. Now, this is beautiful. I've actually seen remakes of this everywhere. On Wish, on AliExpress, they have remakes. I'm interested. This might be a remake, I'm not sure, but this picture is beautiful. It's a ball gown tool off the shoulder sleeveless applique sweep brush train dresses. This was $251, which if it looks anything like this picture, I feel like $250 is kind of a steal for this because that's a lot of fabric and a lot of work. So let's see what we got. We have a lot of fabric here. Wow, this is so much fabric, you guys. 
I actually think this skirt is going to be as full as it's supposed to because there are tons of layers to this skirt. Okay, and then here is the top. As you can see, there's all of this fabric detailing and then all of this stitching through here. It's very detailed and pretty. This tool feels quite nice. I wonder if this will be itchy on. Here's the sleeve. This feels like a Cinderella dress for sure. For sure, for sure. I can already see the comments now. Wear them in public. Why don't you wear them in public? Honestly, wearing these dresses in public, I think take years off my life. Seriously, so stressful. Okay, but here is this big puffy light blue dress. Let's put it on. Oh my goodness, you guys. I think we saved the best for last. This is a Cinderella dress. They did an amazing job making this dress. I like am impressed on so many levels. This skirt is so full. I was a little bit concerned with all of this like beading and flower details going on on the top that it would be uncomfortable, but it's not uncomfortable at all. I feel like anybody who rolled up to their prom in this dress, it would be so eye-catching. People would be turning heads and for good reason. This is amazing. I feel like it looks kind of more light blue in the camera, but in real life, it's very Cinderella vibes. Okay, I'm out of range of my mic right now, but I just wanted to show you guys, like, look at this detail. Isn't this pretty? Oh my gosh, I love it. I need to run through a field. I literally can't stop looking. It fits amazing. It has like this lace up bit. I got my mom to help me with that. So at first I was like, oh no, it doesn't fit. And then we laced it up pretty tight and now it's perfect. I also love these thick straps and all of these pretty little flowers on all the tulle. You guys, this dress is beautiful. I definitely think it's worth the price and I think it looks like the picture, honestly. I really like this. I have nothing bad to say about this dress, honestly. I'm actually very impressed with this one because the product picture, I was like, there's no way that they're gonna make that look the exact same, but here it is. And I feel like it's pretty darn similar. I think you could put like a poofy thing under here to make it even more, but I think they did a really good job of stacking tulle under here to make it poof up. Like I can feel kind of like hard tulle on my hips right here. That's bringing that out. Love this. Okay, just take it in. This is the last dress. Let's go in to our final thoughts. Let's go. All right, guys, I feel like I'm impressed all over again. I remember three years ago, I really liked the dresses. I still like the dresses. I'm especially impressed by this one. Like, I love this. I'm like so surprised that they were able to make such a full skirt. And I'm always impressed by how small all these dresses get rolled up for the packaging and then you just unroll them and they're like, boom, ball gown. For anyone who has been curious about Hebios, I hope this was a helpful video. I don't really know if I shared like lots of info. It was just hard because everything was nice and like all the fabrics were comfortable. So all around really good. So I hope that this was helpful for you. The shipping was also very good as well. I remember in my first order, I think I had a shipping issue, but it was all good this time around. I think there was a little bit of customs on the package because it was so big because there was five dresses, but nothing crazy. But yeah, I definitely think Hebios has some beautiful gowns for a reasonable price point. And if you guys have no interest in buying dresses, I hope at least this video was a little bit entertaining. Hopefully. I had a lot of fun, so I hope you guys did too. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!